Siemens Healthcare Diagnostics is a division that was purchased by Siemens roughly seven years ago. We were three different companies coming together and we sell a laboratory equipment that actually you can put a blood tube in and you get results for the doctor to make a proper diagnosis. The industry that we are working in is regulated in such a way that we have to make sure that the customer can use the product in a safe way, it's effective and it really does what it's supposed to do. We gather customer needs. Out of the customer needs we have to make sure that those needs are translated into features. We have other stakeholder requests that go into uh, developing requirements and then eventually we have to test against those requirements to design output. So I want to build the right thing at the very first shot, not at the third or the fourth or the fifth shot. So understanding user needs, then decomposing them in requirements will allow us to do that. The three different sites actually had three different ways of doing things. One site was very document oriented. The other side was actually well using a database, but still produced a lot of documents. And the third side was basically working out of the database. Now, if you work in three different systems, you have requirements that actually are stored in three different ways, and you make different decisions. What led us to Siemens ELM software is they allow us to make the connection from the beginning to the end and see a big picture of what requirements normally are just one-line statements, two-line statements. The best feature of Team Centers is very flexible. We were able to fine-tune the configuration to meet the business needs. It is customizable enough to adapt to an individual requirements engineer style while being general enough that actually, well, it keeps all the people on the same page and everybody looks at the same picture. For requirements engineering, it doesn't really matter where you sit anymore. Having a common approach, a common database to use to collaborate and communicate starts bringing us more together. We all know that we have to produce one product. The only way to do this is actually producing it as one team. And the Siemens PLM tool is the glue for that. You want to have data-driven processes, data-driven decisions, and the tool allows us to capture those to be able to show that traceability between the requirements and the design and the systems, that's a huge driver to be able to have all that interconnected and Team Center is the, the best solution to do that. It allows us to track changes to make sure as a regulatory code changes, all the, the requirements that are linked to that regulation will have a, an attribute that can be pre-populated to say, yes, uh, uh, something suspect here you need to assess and confirm that either you have to update your design or you can uh, continue to move forward. The Diagnostics Division ha has improved their ability to access data as a result of having all, all in one system. They can make decisions faster, they can produce reports more accurately. Now we have one set of requirements that can impact multiple teams that have can multiple subsystem requirements underneath them and we still can track are we meeting our final goal of satisfying this top layer requirement? When a situation happened, there was a, a mistake. They had to go through multiple documents and double and triple checking other systems. Maybe a result in a solution in, in a matter of weeks instead of a day like you would do in Team Center. Risk management is something that uh, not everybody realizes is very closely associated with requirements engineering we have to produce a product risk file. For us now, it is going to be a push of the button and we have that document because we designed it in. In Team Center, I'd say well over 50% to be reusable requirements, especially the high level drivers. Reuse of requirements will allow us to more quickly penetrate the market, more quickly fix issues that are out in the field, more quickly deliver new products to the market. We will see in the PLM software the product that we're selling to the customer. Does it meet 
all the regulatory requirements? Does it meet all the customer requirements? Does it meet uh, the user needs? I think it'll allow us to build better products, unify how our different departments work. It's going to be more fast-paced, where development cycles were traditionally four to six years. We need to bring them down to three, maybe even two years. The customer wants to have something new. We have to make sure we have something new for them to keep them happy and keep them buying from us.